Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we have seen how we can uh, develop an artificial neural network model with the original data set having two variables as input and the target variable. In this video, we will check how the model with uh, more number of data sets is performing. So now Let's do one thing. I will remove all the excess elements so that we don't have confusion. And now we run the same thing. The only thing we need to change is the data name. Here we just use the variable data2. And also we need to change the number of columns because here we have more number of columns, right? So 12 would be the training elements 13 would be the testing element the target element which we have so we have changed everything and just run it so if you see compared to the values although i did not save them the number of runs when you are using the higher data here and the number of across it's reaching it's quite high because it is trying to develop more relations because you have more data now in a data analysis having good data is what governs the model from the look of it we can see that the result is not quite good as what we would like so let's see here if you see here we will just save it and then we will uh, compare them okay 10th neuron 0 0.81 0 0.51 and we go to the testing set Wow, it became negative 0.31 minus 1. It represents the model is not at all correct. So let's see why we are getting like this. Let's check the data. Mm, Respiration data. Okay. Yes, everything looks good. So let's do one thing and run the model again. So if you see the data based on the data which we are using, um, generally it is understood in a general sense that uh, whenever you are using only today's data and today's discharge to get uh, tomorrow's discharge is not quite correct because the discharge of today yesterday day before yesterday will influence tomorrow's as well so that's why we take the lag so we got the result so let's check it now the model looks kind of goodly uh, trained well we will just save it uh, save the data 0 0.9081674.90.81674 and we will see the same thing in testing 9184647.9184647 647 so if you see if this is of the same runs 10 neuron itself this is the first time run in the second run you can see there is a quite a lot of variation for the same neurons as well so you see the difference here so that's how a neural network model works now let's just try with nine neurons based on previous experience 
Yes, seven forty seven and six hundred and ten. By the looks of it, I think the result is not quite impressive. Point nine two eight four and six ten. This is point nine two, point eight four, and six hundred and ten. So when we do the same thing for testing. Eight nine seven eight point eight nine point seven eight and seven forty seven. Let's put a benefit of doubt and run it again. So if you see here, the value is quite near to the original thing what we were doing earlier, although it's not exactly the same. But yeah, it's similar. It is done, and by the looks, I don't think so. The testing data set has done quite well because you see correlation value dropped from 0.8 to 0.7. So we can say in this case, the eighth, the tenth neuron is giving a pretty good result. Similar to the top, the one we are doing with lesser variables, but from the general understanding, what we know that if you have good amount of data, it should do better. So let's try the ten neurons itself with more number of uh, runs. Let's say five runs. So what this does is it runs the model five times and give us the result. So one thing which can be defining uh, why we are not getting pretty good results is one my choice of number of uh, lags. If you have seen in the previous video, we have chosen five five lags with a confidence limit of point four. But you might uh, get different result if you take point five as confidence limit. Or point six as confidence limit, or point three. So it depends upon the choice you want to make. So based upon my choice of variables, what I've taken, the result is not quite favorable in terms of usage of number of lags. So for your data set, you might be taking a different uh, set of lags, and you need to do kind of an experiment. A trial and error method to get a better result. If you think the the lag concept is quite useful, you have to do trial and error and get a result. Even with the neural network model, it's like a trial and error because each run uh, will not uh, have the same result. Which uh, after the five runs, I will show you how. Much the result can vary from one to one run to another run. So it looks like all the five runs are done. So let's see if you see here. This is the testing. Let's go to the training. The training value dropped. To point one seven and the highest is point eight eight. You see, this is how the model varies because it tries to understand different relationship, and the best result again uh, we can see here is point nine nine four and point eight eight. The same in the testing set, the same best result would be this one with point seven one seven four. So. This is how you can uh, try for the first data as well. Although uh, we need to save this if we want to compare, I'll just save it as one. Okay. Now what we will do is we will 
go to the set where we used the original data we saw here that um, this was giving a better result 10 neurons in terms of testing so we will run the same 10 neurons 5 times here to see how it works how the neural network changes in terms of when you are giving a lower uh, input variables So all the models are developed and we will see the training again if you see the lowest of correlation went to 0 0.90 the highest it went to 0 0.94 similarly in testing the lowest it went to 0 0.85 the highest it went to 0 0.92 but if you observe here the best training is here but the best testing is not here so it depends on how the relationship it is developing so you can choose the lowest error if you see this is the lowest actually this is the lowest error but in terms of testing you are getting the best value here so you can choose the first result as your uh, models uh, capability and you can represent it in the work you want to present or in anything another thing you can do is you can run the model for more number of times for example 100 and you can put the confidence limits you can uh, give it the highest value it can go the best accuracy it can reach and the lowest it can reach in this case the best accuracy it can reach is 0.94 in terms of correlation the lowest is 0 0.90 in terms of testing sorry training in terms of testing you can see it can go to 0.85 and 0.92 again why do this thing occurs because in training we give the model uh, the target data set also so it knows how the target is but in terms of testing it does not know that is the reason why you don't get very high uh, results I mean very good results in terms of testing but generally a good model should be able to understand it so in this way you can try a different iterative methods and different uh, functions as well here I have used time sigmoidal you can use log sigmoidal or purely linear or other uh, functions or even another model not a feed forward neural network model and try it out and can get better results so this is how we can compare the results of a model with lower input variables and higher input variables and again what i want to uh, tell you is the choice of number of variables which you are taking influences the results you are getting so i've taken 5 lakhs plus original in both uh, precipitation and discharge so this is how i got but for your data if you take a different uh, lag variables you might get a better result but it still depends upon the number of times you run the model how accurate the data is and other elements so this is how you can develop a good hydrological model following this uh, methodology so i hope you have understood how you can do the model and run it several times so that you get a better result so if you uh, understood the concept give the video a like and subscribe to the channel and let me know any questions which you have so that i can clear them out if something is not clear 
that is it for this video in the next video we will see other models in which we can uh, develop a model in a better uh, manner